In this video, I will show you how to pick up stitches around an armhole using my azalea top as our example. Typically, a pattern will say to use double pointed needles because your circumference around the armhole, so around here, um, usually is going to be too small for a 16 inch circular. But even if it wasn't, typically in sleeves, you will do some decreases to taper the sleeve. And so at some point, the 16 inch circular will just be too long. Um, so this is why most patterns will recommend using double pointed needles. But if you don't like using double pointed needles, you do have some other options. And one of those options is to use a, a 32 inch circular and using the magic loop method. And that is what I'm gonna be demonstrating for you in this video. So in the azalea pattern, it says to join yarn at the center of the underarm and then pick up a certain number of stitches from the underarm up to the shoulder and then the same amount of stitches from the shoulder down to the underarm. Um, with a note that says it works out to approximately two stitches for every three rows. Um, so this is the pickup ratio. You'll often see this when picking up stitches um, in a vertical area, um, such as an armhole like this. Often it's either two stitches for every three rows or three stitches for every four rows. So let's do the pickup. Let's start by inserting our needle into the center of the underarm. So I'm going to, my center is kind of right above where we had our little gap here. So I'm going to insert my needle right in here. Now, as you can see, I'm not going in to the very edge. I'm going one stitch in and you'll see as I'm picking up, that is how I'm gonna pick up the stitches all along. If I sort of untwist this a little bit, I'm not gonna be going into that very edge here. I'm gonna be going into the column of V's right next to it. So right into here. And what I do like to do is I like to hold my um, fabric with my left hand like this, sort of lining up the V's. So you can see the, the V shape here. That makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick my needle in the center of the underarm just like that. And then I'm going to take my yarn. Now I wanna leave a really nice long tail because we did have that gap here at the underarm area, which can totally be cinched up and you won't even know it existed, but we need to have a nice long tail to be able to, to weave in. So the longer, the better, doesn't really matter. I go at least 12 inches, I would say. So with a long tail, I drape the yarn over the needle and then I bring the loop through. So we've picked up and knit our first stitch. Now going along with the two stitches for every three rows, I'm gonna go into the next stitch, which in this case is this one right here. And I like going into both legs of the V. So I'm gonna go into both legs and knit it. So I've picked up and knit two stitches. So then we're going to skip the next one, which would be right here. And then I'm gonna go into the next V, which is right here. And then I will knit it. And then I'm gonna go into the very next one and knit that. And then we're gonna skip the next one and then go into the next V. Okay, skip the next one. Sometimes it helps if you just sort of uncurl a little bit, but make sure you kind of hold your left thumb right underneath the, um, the area that you're picking up. That just helps to keep everything lined up well. Okay, so that's two more. Then I'll skip the next one. So I'm just gonna continue in this manner, picking up two stitches for every three rows along this edge. 
until I get up to the shoulder. So I've reached the top um, and I have my 36 stitches. I counted just to make sure. And so now we're going to wanna pick up in the same manner going down the other side. So in order to do that, cause right now it would start getting a little bit tight with the stitches on my circular here. I'm actually going to take my needle tip with my left hand and I'm going to slide the stitches off of the needle so that they're now gonna be resting just on the, uh, the circular cable here. Slide that. So this way I'm able to position my needle tip to go down the other side. So let me just get myself situated here. I gotta move some things around. Okay. So the stitches we just picked up are now on the cord on this side. I've pulled my needle. So now it's positioned and free to pick up the stitches going down the other side. So I'm going to pick up and knit in the exact same manner as I done the other side. So I'm gonna go ahead and first put my needle into the first V up here. Remember, not the edge, one sort of one column in from the edge. Okay, so there we go. Picked up that one. Then I will go into the next one. Then I'll skip one and go into the next two. So in that same manner as we had done going down the other side. And if you had wound up picking up more or less stitches on the other side, just make sure to, to uh, replicate that on this side as well. Okay, so I've reached the bottom here. I picked up my 36 stitches down this side. Now, typically the next instruction is to place marker for beginning of round, and then you would just start on your, on your first round. I'm going to not place the marker right at this moment because I wanna show you how this will work. Because if I were to just place the marker here and then start working on this side, um, the marker would just fall off. So I'm gonna show you um, exactly how I, I work this beginning process. So first things first, let's get ourselves situated to work the magic loop. So first thing is that we want the stitches that have the working yarn attached to it. So that would be this side right here that we just worked. That needs to be in the back. So I'm going to flip the work over. And that's our long tail. Sometimes I find it helpful to kind of take the tail and stick it in there just so it's out of the way. Okay, so here's our working yarn. So whenever you're about to start working, you always, in Magic Loop, you always want the side that has the working yarn attached to it to be the back needle. And the working yarn is always on the, on the, uh, the right side here. And then I wanna take the front and I wanna slide the stitches so that they're towards the needle tip. Just like this. Okay, so our needles are parallel to each other. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that beginning of round marker and I am gonna put it on the back needle, just like that. Then I'm going to take the back needle and I'm going to slide the tip forward, just like this, so that the stitches and the marker are sitting on the, on the cord and I'm gonna pull it out enough so that I can start working this needle onto these stitches here. Now remember, I, I want to um, secure this marker somehow, otherwise it's gonna be flying around here. So I'm actually gonna work the very first stitch. And in this case, in the azalea case, the first round is a purl round, so I'm actually going to position 
the yarn in the front so that I can work the purl stitch. Okay, so my yarn is in the front of the needle and then I'm going to purl just that first stitch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my needle tip again and pull it through the stitch so that the stitch is on the cable and then I'll tighten it up. And so now that stitch is on this side and now the marker is secure. So that's just a little tip on how I get started with Magic Loop in order to secure that marker. So now that we've secured that stitch onto this side, now we can just be working our regular Magic Loop process. So I'm just gonna go ahead and purl all the stitches on this front circular. And again, whenever you're about to start, your working yarn should always be coming from the back needle. So I'm going to, and again, because I'm purling this first round, that's why I'm kind of orienting the yarn in this way so that it's in the front. Now, had, um, had you decided to work in stockinette, you would just be um, knitting all these stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and purl all of these stitches until I've purled all of them that are on this front needle. And as you need to, you just sort of slide the stitches um, towards the tip. Okay, I've just about reached the end. Okay, so this is what you do in Magic Loop then when you're ready to work on the other side. We're going to turn the work. so that the stitches that you just worked and the stitches that are attached to your working yarn are on the back needle. And sometimes you do need to reorient your yarn ball a little bit. Mine got a little tangled around the cord, which can happen. There we go. Okay, so here are the stitches that we just worked. The working yarn is coming from the back needle in that last stitch. We have our loop coming out on this end. I'm going to take the front needle and I'm going to slide it so that the stitches start going towards the tip, just like that. Then, and cause I wanna work these stitches so it'd be kind of impossible to start knitting with them this way. You need to free up this needle. So you're going to take the back needle and slide it through the stitches. So see how my loop on this end is getting smaller, but there's still a loop and that way I can turn the needle to be working on this side to my beginning of round marker. So just like before, I need to reorient the yarn a little bit. So I'm gonna stick my needle into that first stitch on the front needle. And now I will purl all these stitches. And if I were working in stockinette, I would knit them. So this technique is the same regardless of the stitch pattern that you're working. Okay, I'm just about at the end of the first round. So I'm at my marker here. Then I'm going to slide the marker over and then I'm gonna position the yarn in the back of the work because in this case, my next round is gonna be a knit round. So even though I'm still, I still have one more stitch to work on this side of the needle, because I reached my beginning of round marker, um, it's technically the end of the round over here. So this last stitch should be worked in whatever stitch pattern the next round is in. So in this case, it is a knit one. So I will knit that stitch. But now we've completed the stitches on this needle. So again, we're going to turn the work. So our working yarn is coming from the back needle. Then I'm going to pull on my cord here so that I can be sliding my front stitches towards the needle tip. So now my, our needles are parallel to each other. But, and so I'm ready to work this side's needle, but in order to do that, I'm gonna need to free up the back needle. So I'm gonna take the back needle, 
and I'm going to free up the needle so I can turn and work them. And because I am knitting this time, I'll just insert the needle into that first stitch. And I will, and I will knit all these stitches. So you're just gonna continue in that manner, always working one side of the needle um, and then turning the work and then working the other side. So that is how you pick up armhole stitches and work in the round using the magic loop method.